Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. So, this is the fight of the Radiance. Actually, there's two fights of the Radiance here. One one loses to Hollow Knight. And then the second one goes to the Radiance and beats it. And you can see that my... My idea here was to get myself as many... Um, Abyss Shrieks as possible. With... Uh, with the Abyss Shrieks doing as much damage as possible. So Shaman Stone and Spell Twister. And then I used all of these other things, these uh, lifeblood things, to give me as much life as possible. Because I wasn't planning on healing. There just aren't good opportunities for me to heal against the Radiance. So there we go, Shaman Stone, Spell Twister, and then whatever life blood stuff I could fit in to give me a bunch of life. Because you automatically heal to full after defeating the Hollow Knight. So it doesn't matter if the Hollow Knight knocks you down to one health. So we don't use any soul in the fight with the Hollow Knight because we want to get to the Radiance with as much soul as possible. Because the idea is to just kind of try to tank the Radiance with as, as many super strong... Abyss Shrieks is possible. It's not a bad idea. It's the it's the strategy that a lot of people kind of end up going with. And the only one I saw suggested online. Although I had already kind of come to the conclusion that it was the only way. Although uh, I have seen people uh, like fight the Radiance with the... Uh, the, the Fluke Nest version of... The, uh, the regular spell. So you're just shooting at all those little flukes. But you gotta get right up next to them so they all hit him. Because if they fall, they're never gonna hit him. So, I just thought for me, with my inexperience, that that was a better, a better bet. So yeah, we, we didn't have, like, any chance against... One of the problems was I got really used to tanking Hollow Knight with Unbreakable Strength on And then for this strategy, I took Unbreakable Strength off... And what I didn't account for is that that makes the Hollow Knight fight, like, 50% longer. It's not a huge deal to try to... But it really depends on the the attacks. Like, Hollow Knight's attacks are random, so you want to see, like, this. And maybe those. And what you, what you don't want to see is him going up in the air and shooting out things or smashing down on you. What you especially want to see is him screaming or stabbing himself. This thing isn't bad if you can get into the right spot. So now we've already gotten Mr. Mushroom here, so that will be in the uh, the ending. So specifically, I thought the Radiance was an exceptionally hard boss, considering kind of uh, even the Hollow Knight when you had everything was pretty easy and the radiance is not the two damage on every attack is rough as far as this game went i mean i really liked it i loved the atmosphere i loved that you know there's almost no dialogue there's almost no characters it's just kind of exploration and you know kind of putting things together after you destroy these things they the game doesn't go out of its way to explain who the White King was, like when he lived, what he did, who the White Queen was, and all those things. Get the so you'll see how effective the strategy is. The Radiance has, the, the, the first phase of the Radiance has like 2,000 hit points, the second phase has like 1,000 something like that. It takes something like eight, eight abyss shrieks up to knock him into his, his, his like, four, it's his fourth phase, technically. <laughs> 
So this is that was the first three phases of the fight. The third phase is when uh, he starts shooting down the arrows from the top. Like all the time. And he almost always spawns right here initially, and I was prepared for that. And I didn't realize I'd done enough damage here yet. And then I saw the thing shooting down, and I was like, oh, I'm in phase five. So in this phase, all you have to do is get to the top and hit the Radiance once. I also sh should say, if you're, uh, Mr. Mushroom is only accessible after you've beaten all three Dreamers. So here we go. Yeah, it's like I said, this game doesn't have any happy endings, so... Now, um, yeah, I liked Hollow Knight. I had a lot of fun playing Hollow Knight. I would not uh, be adverse to making Hollow Knight one of my past-the-time games, where I just play a new file and goof around with it. It would be kind of fun. But as far as things like getting the 112% ending... Wow, would that be rough? I mean, 42 fights in a row, including, like, all the hardest bosses in the game. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I've seen people do it. I know it's a thing you can do, but, uh, man, I'm, it's way above my skill level. I mean, it's, it's light years away from where I'm at in playing this game. So there are some other things, like I checked out the Hunter's Mark. And uh, we ca I can't get that because you have to defeat multiples of an enemy that is only available way late in the Coliseum of Fools. And I made some attempts to get there, and I couldn't. So, uh, so I can't do that. I can't complete the Hunter's Journal. I can't get the Hunter's Mark. And, uh, yeah, that was about it. The other thing I considered doing that I, I, I don't believe I'm going to, I think we're just going to review the trophies and then go on. Uh, the other thing I considered doing was giving delicate flowers to different people, but um, it doesn't seem like there are a lot of them. There's essentially like Nailmaster Oro and the Elderbug. There are a couple people you can try to give it to and they'll refuse it. Um, the White Lady and the Lady in like the by the the tower, the Love Tower or whatever in in one of the rooms. 
in the city, you know, where she's all, she's all, she, she claims she's like nobility and stuff. I don't know. It's her name. Her name is like Eternal Am Amelia, I think. So, uh, but I'm not going to do that either. I don't think we'll be, we'll be closing this video down by recapping the trophies that we got and the ones we couldn't get. And then when we're done with that, we'll be moving on to our next LP, which, um, will be pretty brief if it is what I plan it being. And then the thing after that should be a really wacky kind of throwback to the kind of stuff that I used to do. So, uh, they, they're, I'm both, ex I'm excited for both of them. They both should be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, cause I mean, Hollow Knight has been going on for something like eight months or something. <laughs> and a as much as I like it, it's, it's time to, it's time to shelve this and go somewhere else. So yeah, we will be, uh, picking up, there'll be some live commentary as I just kind of read through the trophy stuff because that's easier to do in live commentary and I have to use another program to record it. There'll be that and then this will be the end of this LP. So I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, after Mr. Mushroom, I'll, there'll be a little bit of commentary, live commentary here and then uh, in a couple days we'll be doing something else. Alright, so, uh, here are our trophies for Hollow Knight, because, uh, I'm done grinding for stuff. So, uh, Heart of Hollow Nest, acquire all of the trophies, we didn't get that. Falsehood, defeat the False Knight. Test of Resolve, defeat Hornet and Green Path. Defeat Hornet and Kingdom's Edge for proof of resolve. Watcher, destroy Luri and the Watcher. Beast, destroy Hera the Beast. Teacher, destroy Monomon the Teacher. The Hollow Knight, just defeat the Hollow Knight and complete the game. So those are all story related. You really can't miss them. Charmed, acquire your first charm. I, I don't know if that's miserable or not. It seems like it would be very hard to not acquire any charms. Uh, Enchanted, acquire half of Hollow Nest's charms. Blessed, acquire all charms and receive a Salubra's blessing. Protected, acquire four mask shards. Mast, acquire all mask shards. Soulful, acquire three Vessel Fragments. World Soul, acquire all Vessel Fragments. Connection, open half of Hollow Nest Stag Stations. Hope, open all of Hollow Nest Stag Stations and discover the Stag Nest. Grub Friend, rescue half of the imprisoned grubs. Metamorphosis, rescue all of the imprisoned grubs. Cartographer, acquire a map of each area. Attunement, collect 600 Essence. Awakening, collect 1800 essence and awaken the dream nail. Ascension, collect 2400 essence and hear the seer's final words. Keen Hunter, record of all of Hollow Nest's creatures in the Hunter's Journal. Now, I'm not sure if, uh, if I could have done better on this one. Um, but, uh, I know we're definitely missing, uh, Sly. Because he is the boss of the third pantheon that we didn't do. So, True Hunter received the Hunter's Mark. These two are really related. There's not a lot we can do here. I mean, I think you record all the creatures, and then you go back to that guy, and you get the Hunter's Mark. Solace, bring peace to the Grey Mourner. Warrior, complete the Trial of the Warrior. Conqueror, complete the Trial of the Conqueror. And this is, I'm sure, for completing the Trial of the Fool in the Coliseum, which... Eesh. Grand Performance, defeat Troop Leader Grimm. Nightmare's End, complete the Tale of the Grim Troop. Soul and Shade, complete the Pantheon of the Night. We did not get that. Hidden Trophy, this is for completing another Pantheon, which is... Uh, Pure Completion, achieve 112% game completion and finish the game. We got 109%. 
And passing of the age, aid the herald in moving on. So, uh, yeah, we did that, and uh, and we're good. Like, this is what we're going to get done. Um, I apologize for probably, I mean, I don't know about this, really. Like, I, I tried to kill as many obscure things as possible, but I think without Sly, we can't get this. Like, we certainly can't get this. Because Shio and uh, Ori or whatever, they, they appear. So, it's not Ori, it's Shio and Oni or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, now we will be moving on to something else. Something else. Something else. And, uh... You know, I will... I, I liked Hollow Knight. It was fun. It was a great game. It had a great atmosphere. It had a great, uh, difficulty kind of curve until the end when it became the hardest game ever. And, yeah. So, um, the something else I have planned right now will not be this hard. In fact, it's the easiest thing possible. It's super easy. Impossibly easy. And, uh, yeah. So we'll be doing that thing. And, uh, this stuff. All good. And things. Things. So I will see you guys for other stuff. And, uh, yeah. Bye, everybody.